Alright, what's going on guys? So today we are heading back out to Lake Darbonne. I uh, hope you guys aren't getting too tired of these videos, but uh, it is spawning season. Crappie are biting and uh, we're going to put in here Stowe Creek and the water has been up here at Lake Darbonne and I'm pretty sure that uh, the boat ramp is still closed. Um, nope, it is open. Well, the boat ramp is open. The wind is kicking. We still gonna get up in there. It is 7:40 this morning, and uh, see we got a little bit of a wind down here. Water's up. We're gonna go down here and try it out for a couple hours. See what happens. If the wind's too bad, we're gonna move over to a spot that we fished the other day, and uh, go from there. So let's get the boat in the water and let's see what can happen and uh, see if we can catch us some fish. What's going on guys? So the water is high and if I haven't showed you guys yet, I got a plug. I've got to plug light boot. So these boots right here, if you like Crocs or boots that are like super light like that, these boots right here are your ticket. There's no, uh, there's no soles in them. They are super light. And uh, I know one of the, uh, to be full disclosure, I know one of the owners of the company and back in the hunting season, he sent me, me and my kids, a pair of these light boots. And uh, they have been, they have been awesome. Like I said, they are super light, super easy to wear, super comfortable. So if you're looking for a different pair of boots, when I tell you they're light, <laughs> they are light, super light. The name definitely defines the boot. So anyway, you see the water is kicking out here we're gonna get the we're gonna get the boat trailer off see what happens super awesome boot so y'all make sure y'all check them out they didn't ask me to do anything but they did send me some boots uh, for me and my kids so i feel like i need to plug them so yeah make sure y'all check out light boot i'll put those links right down here below let's go fish as always Wear your life jacket, uh, especially if you're kayaking. It's pretty rough out. We're gonna ease on out of here and we'll see you over at the other spot in just a few minutes. All right, well, we didn't have a bite. Well, actually we did have one little bite at the other spot. We were making a relocation back to where we were at the other day. If you're from this area, we're at Jake's. But we are making a relocation. Friendly reminder, if you want to know the regs, currently as of today, make sure you double check. You can pause the video and check it out. Boom. And boom. There's a feed station. So make sure you bring some cash or go to a local vendor as it says. Let's try to find some crappie. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Got one just juggling. Just a little just a little juggling down through there. Saw that one actually come up off the bank, uh off the bottom. And uh, yeah, so water temp has dropped way down, so it's a little bit different scenario, I think, today. We're gonna keep juggling around, see if we can find some, but we've got one in the boat, and that's a nice one. Let's see. I mean, it's just under 12. 
Yep. She does come in just under 12, so good crappie, good crappie. Come on, baby. Yep, 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 yep. Ah, got it. Oh, finally. Got another one. Whew. Another white crappie. Another nice, nice white crappie. Had to fish her out. <laughs> there again. At the, uh, I don't know what, what you call this, bluegrass maybe? Whew. They are tough. They are being tough today. I can tell you that right now. Figure this out again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little barfish. That's still fun though. A white bass, actually. Boom. Look at that guy. We'll put him in the uh, box. Put him in the box. Carry him home. Boom. Little white bass. Put him in the box and carry him home, son. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, this is a good one here. Oh, this is a good one here. Oh, this is a good one here. Oh, God. This is a good one here. Oh, man. This is a good one here. Glad I came back. Oh, water temp is up. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Let me get this situated and I'll tell you what's up. A tank. Water temp is back up over 60 degrees. Um, it is 140. I don't have a lot of time left to fish, but this morning has been rough. Water temp was down to 67 at one point, and we have got a toad in the boat. She's going to measure out at right at 14 inches, so she's a good one. <laughs> she's a good one. Ooh, ooh. Man, yeah. Something tells me it's about to get a little western up in here. Yep. Oh my. Oh my. Come on, baby. Oh. <laughs> You're back. You're back. You're back. Boom. We found him again. Another one. Another one. Oh, within like a minute of that, that one. Another good one. Another beautiful. Crappy. Oh yeah, baby. Boom. Man, it's been a fun couple days out here fishing with you guys at Lake Darbon. We've had some uh, different kind of fishing environments. Uh, there was a day in between these two fishing days in this video. Um, in between, there was, there was another big rainstorm, kind of like we had last week. Um, we did that video. Uh, those links are right down here below. They're also on the channel, but um, we had a lot of rain, had a cold front come in, water temp dropped about three to four degrees, didn't start warming up until late this afternoon, and uh, I'm running out of time now, but uh, I think the fish are just now starting to uh, move back in. They've been out, saw a bunch of them just kind of sporadically, um, just out and about, out in the water, but in this kayak, really in any kind of boat, when you're in the kind of wind that we were in earlier this morning, it was kind of white capping, saw it coming over my boat, uh, it is tough to control. 
it's crazy this afternoon the wind has actually died down some so um, that front's kind of moving out everything's starting to settle back i think me and my dad pending the weather we're going to try to go the first of the week i think they may be calling for rain again monday so we may not be able to do it but uh, if it doesn't rain me and him are going to come out here and try to do something maybe bring, bring one of the kids with me or something like that but uh anyway hope you guys have enjoyed this this was kind of kind of a little different video just going out and just catching some crappie man uh, back in the shallows literally like six to 12 inches of line out it's been uh it's been fun and uh uh, if you've never done anything like that before, you've only like long lined or fished out in the deeper waters and that kind of stuff, highly encourage you if you don't get a chance this year, uh, do it at some point here in the next couple years. It is a very fun time. So anyway, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button, especially if you made it this far, as you've heard me say before. Um, yeah, that helps support the channel. The majority of people that watch these videos are not subscribed. and. Um, so please subscribe, 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 and make sure you like and comment. Hey, y'all have a good one. Get outside. Spring is here. Watch out for snakes, and just enjoy, enjoy being outside. Hey, y'all take care. We're here today at the Willie Davis Recreation Center to celebrate the groundbreaking for the new mega ramp right here on Lake Darbonne. It's gonna be a great thing, this mega ramp. It's gonna have plenty of room for events. It's gonna have plenty of room for boaters to come in, three lanes that we're gonna have for boats to back down into the lake. It is going to be a great thing.